These are the craziest race wins in F1 history. Unbelievable, Max. Unbelievable. Oh my, oh my! Is that just wonderful? And Lewis Hamilton won the British Grand Prix in this iconic way. But look at the state of that Mercedes car! Seven seconds to Verstappen. You can see him in the background. Look how difficult it was to stop. But for Lewis Hamilton, the checkered flag will come for a seventh British Grand Prix victory and a record seventh British Grand Prix victory. It's Lewis Hamilton. That's it, mate. You've done it. You've done it. Damn, Lewis got some crazy skills. But it wasn't as crazy as what happened at the Italian Grand Prix. It was 1971. The top five drivers were in a close battle with each other. But they got so close that on the finish line, those five drivers were separated by just 0.61 seconds. This made it the closest race finish F1 has ever seen. 0.61 seconds. Now that's nuts. But as crazy as that was, at least it wasn't controversial. Like the Japanese Grand Prix, Ayrton Senna was trailing Alan Prost by 16 points for the championship. So, winning the 1989 Japanese Grand Prix was obviously important. Senna claimed the pole in qualifying, so everyone was almost certain that he's gonna win. But what actually happened shocked everyone. The opportunity that Senna's looking for, and he's going through, ouch! This is what we were fearing might happen during the race. Prost retired from the race after that, but Senna still kept going. And even after the crash, he still won the race. But before Senna could celebrate, another shocking thing happened. The race marshals disqualified him for missing the chicane and for receiving an illegal push dart, despite the obvious fact that he gained no competitive advantage. Now, as if this wasn't bad enough, Senna was also handed a $100,000 fine and suspended for six months. He also got tagged as a bad driver, hurting the veteran driver's reputation. Yeah, and I thought the 2021 Abu Dhabi race was controversial. But you know what else is crazy? How about the time when Mercedes humiliated Hamilton in front of the entire F1 grid? Or the unbelievable moment that happened in Monaco, which made it the craziest race win F1 has ever seen? We'll get to all of that at the end of this video. But first, let's talk about when Charles Leclerc gave up hope in winning the championship after the big blunder he made. Charles started from pole at the 2022 French Grand Prix. He was leading throughout the race, keeping Verstappen comfortably behind. But then, catastrophe happened. Who's that gone off? Leclerc. Leclerc. Charles Leclerc. Are, are, are you okay? I can't cut photo. No! Whoa. That's some reaction. This made Verstappen win the race with a comfortable lead, obviously. But trust me, guys, this lead was nothing compared to the lead this other driver created in a race, which even ended up being a world record. The 1958 Portugal Grand Prix started with Sir Sterling Moss at the pole position. Mike Hawthorne, who was running P2, did pick some pace in the beginning, which even put him ahead of Moss for a moment. But soon enough, Moss was back in the lead. Everyone thought this will be a close race, but turns out it wasn't. Because due to Hawthorne's Ferrari having brake problems, and since Moss was such a great driver, Hawthorne never saw Moss again in the race. He finished the race 5 minutes 12 seconds ahead of the P2 Hawthorne, setting the widest margin ever. 5 minutes margin? Now that's incredible. But you know what's not incredible? The time when Hamilton won the race in a way that made Mercedes very angry. That's uh, not the race we were after. Hamilton was running P2 at the 2016 Austrian Grand Prix. The only driver ahead of him was Nico Rosberg, which I'm pretty sure he didn't like. The race was going pretty normal, with Mercedes aiming for another 1-2 win. But since both drivers were in full attack, what happened on the last lap changed everything. Yeah, look at this, this is close. Hamilton got yep. a fantastic drive out of turn one. Lewis Hamilton wheel to wheel with Nico Rosberg in towards turn two. His teammates got the inside oh, line, they they've touched again. He's now got damage. Nico Rosberg to his front wing. But I was on the outside. That wasn't me that crashed. Hamilton eventually won the race. 
obviously. But look, at least we got to see a good battle. Unlike this next race, which was so devastating, it shocked everyone. Damon Hill was having a tough season in 1997, as the defending champ didn't win any races till yet. But the dry spell was about to end at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Hill got ahead of Jacques Villeneuve and the great Schumacher to get P1 at the start of the race. Things were finally going in Hill's way, as he was leading comfortably. So comfortably that everyone already assumed that he's the race winner. But suddenly, disaster happened. In eight seconds, he lost on that lap. Eight whole seconds. So look, he's going very, very slowly. No, I don't think he's going to make it. I don't think he's going to be fast enough on the last lap. He's losing so much time. With only two laps to go, his car developed hydraulic problems, which made him stuck in third gear. And even though he was 34 seconds ahead of the second place Villeneuve, Villeneuve still got to him and passed him on the last lap to win the race. Man, driving so beautifully but still getting robbed, and that too on the last lap. That's just heartbreaking. But you know what's crazy? Ricardo winning the race, even after Red Bull gave up hope of winning. In 2016, Ricardo lost the Monaco GP due to his team's mistakes. Ricardo is sat there waiting. Did he make the call? Did the team make the call? Whoever made the call, the tires weren't ready. It was very hard for him to get over it. So in 2018, when he somehow managed to get on pole, he knew that this was his chance to have his redemption. When the race started, he was leading at an incredible pace. Everything was going perfectly well until this happened. Losing power. Losing power was what oh, no. Daniel Ricciardo just said. A lockup from Sebastian Vettel. Let's keep it focused, mate. Keep it focused. His car developed a power problem that made it hard for him to use the seventh and eighth gear. Now, as if this wasn't bad enough, he was also on a mandatory one-stop strategy, which meant he had to adjust his brake balance and also manage his tires. Things were looking bad for Ricardo as Vettel in his Ferrari was right behind him. But he didn't give up. He drove the next 50 laps without any help from his team and still won the race. Cheers, boys. Redemption. <laughs> didn't make it easy for you, mate. Oh, it didn't make it easy. Wow. But as amazing as that was, it's nothing compared to what happened in the earlier days in Monaco. Because what happened there shocked everyone. It was the 1996 season, and of course, it was raining. Even though the drivers knew the race was going to be tough due to the slippery road, they still couldn't possibly imagine what actually happened. Right from the first lap, drivers began to lose control and crash into barriers. By the fifth lap, only 13 cars were left on track. And just when it started to seem like the crashes were over and the race was getting smoother, more problems came. A car's suspension failed, leaving only 11 cars on the grid. On lap 66, Luca Bedoa and Villeneuve collided, causing both of them to retire. As it was getting closer to the end of the race, Schumacher's teammate also crashed. And to make it worse, when he tried to rejoin the race, he got hit by another driver, Mike Salo, who was also hit by Hakkinen. All of this created only three cars to cross the checkered line, making it the lowest number of race finishes F1 has ever seen. Three cars out of 22? What the hell? But look, now that we're into the top three craziest races, let's take things to a whole new level. Like the time when a midfield team won the race, and that too purely based on their race pace. The 2020 Italian Grand Prix started with Hamilton on his way to add another win to his name, but things didn't turn out that way. After Kevin Magnussen stopped on the track, Hamilton pitted right in. But turns out after the safety car had been deployed, the pit lane was actually closed. This made Hamilton get a 10-second penalty. But this loss became Pierre Gasly's gain. Cuz turns out 
he pitted just a lap before Magnussen stomped on the track. So, right place at the right time. He easily undercutted everyone when all the drivers went in the pits under safety car to get a cheap pit stop. This brought him up from P14 to ultimately P1. So, for the first time ever, Gasly found himself and his Alfa Tori in the lead. And after an intense battle with signs in McLaren, Gasly did this. Man, victory never looked so good before. But as good as that was, it was nothing compared to what Max Verstappen achieved, because what he did was simply amazing. It was 2016. Max just got promoted to Red Bull. He only had 10 days to get used to the team and the RB12 before competing for the team for the first time. The Spanish Grand Prix was supposed to be a normal one, but then, all of a sudden, this happened. And it's Nico Rosberg and Hamilton's onto the grass, and Hamilton's had a massive crash, and he's crashed into his teammate. The two Mercedes come together. Since this was the Mercedes era, this crash gave Ferrari and Red Bull a chance to fight for the win. The four drivers were using three different strategies, but Verstappen was the smartest of them all. Instead of using a traditional three-stop strategy, he pulled off a two-stop due to his exceptional driving. But that doesn't mean his problems were over. Even after brilliantly overtaking Ferrari for P1, he was still under major pressure from Raikkonen, who was on fresher tires. But by making no mistakes whatsoever, he did this. Max Verstappen wins a Formula One Grand Prix and is the youngest driver ever to win a Formula One World Championship Grand Prix. Man, Verstappen is definitely special. But as amazing as that was, it's nothing compared to the ridiculous moment of the Monaco Grand Prix. Because what happened there became the craziest race win ever. After earning the pole position, Renault driver René Arnoux's plan to win in 1982 seemed airtight. He started to create a big gap, but then suddenly, on lap 14, he lost control. So, Alan Prost, who was in second place, took the lead. Everything was going fine after that, till the drama factor came in. The rain. Several drivers already began to spin out of control, and Prost, who was able to hold things down for a bit, also lost control. With just two laps to go, Riccardo Patrese was right behind Prost, who was lucky to pass the crash sign safely, and it seemed like the win was his, until the final lap came. His car also slipped out of control, giving away P1 once again. With Patrese spinning, Peroni took the lead and now, on the third try, it seemed we finally got the winner of the race. Well, not so far, said Patrese, because just a few seconds later, this and happened. Peroni stationary, it is, my goodness, the third leader in two laps. Turns out, his car ran out of fuel. Yeah, that happened. This made Patrese take the lead again and finally win the race four lead changes in the last three laps. Now, that's a crazy race win. But at least no one got involved in some major incident, unlike the time when one driver crashed so horribly it ended his F1 career forever. Or the moment when Lewis Hamilton lost something big, which he can never forget. And I know you want to know more about this, so just click the video right here.